My name is Phil. I am a fourth year at EVMS, and now I am back here learning medicine at the place where medicine created me and my sister. I was actually first at EVMS in a petri dish over at the Jones Institute when my parents went through the IVF process in 1991. My twin sister and I were born as one of the first thousand Jones babies. Good evening. The Eastern Virginia Medical School has achieved the first American in vitro pregnancy. It has been determined and confirmed that a pregnancy has been established by the program of in vitro fertilization under the aegis of the EVMS. The first successful IVF pregnancy in the U.S. was at the Jones Institute. That technology was pioneered by Dr. Howard Jones and his wife, Dr. Georgiana Jones. They came to EVMS as the first place in the U.S. and one of the first places in the world where couples struggling with infertility could come as a last resort to try and have a biological child. And I was actually able to meet the Joneses. I don't really remember it. I was really young. They would invite all the families from the Jones Institute back, and there would be all these twins and triplets. And I have this picture of my parents and the Joneses and us. My story is one of my parents' hard work, and it wouldn't have been possible without the hard work and dedication of those physicians who created the science and who helped my parents throughout the process. I want to be that for a lot of other people. That has just really inspired me to pursue the field of medicine. The Jones Institute meant a lot to my family, and so it meant a lot for me to go back to EVMS for medical school. For me, whenever I get bogged down in the nuances of studying for medical school, I can come back through to the Jones Institute, to that little hallway with all of the history of the IVF, because it's not like I'm just the product of the hard work and dedication of my parents. It's like I'm the product of people dedicated to creating the possibility of my life and all of that happiness for my parents. I can feel my own story and how I've come kind of full circle back here to learn medicine. So there's a beautiful little courtyard between Lewis Hall and the Jones Institute. And in that courtyard, there are a bunch of bricks with writing on them. And those bricks are commemorating families and donors to the Jones Institute who have gone through the IVF cycles. There is a brick out there with my name on it and my sister's name in the midst of all of these other bricks that have inspiring messages and thank yous. And so I like to go back there and just go find my brick. It's inspiring. I'm going into the field of OBGYN, and I decided that kind of throughout the process of medical school. It feels a bit like destiny, learning the medicine that helped create me and my sister, and how I'm going to take that forward and help a bunch of other people have the same happiness that my parents were able to find through the help and the care of all the physicians at the Jones Institute who helped them.